Hey guys, Prince of Mastodon here, doing this commentary video for Rome Total War. It's a multiplayer battle, and um, it's kind of an interesting battle because it's 5,000 denarii. My opponent who hosted this battle, I guess he was a big fan of 5,000 denarii games. Um, his name is Flavius the Great, and let me show you my army. I went for a very uh, small but highly upgraded army, and you're going to see that my opponent goes more for quantity, whereas I go more for the quality. And uh, let's see, here's my general unit, it's a companion cav, and they're gold gold, and here's the rest of my army. I, I hid the rest of my army right here, in case my opponent decided to fight for the hilltop, because he does have the hill advantage at the start here. So I'm going to hide these guys here, see what he does, and I'm going to keep my companions out in the open, just to draw him out. And he will have his attention transfixed on my general unit here. And you can see the rest of my troops, I got Royal Pike, Phalanx Pikemen, two archers, and a Creedon Archer unit. And, uh, it's pretty interesting. You can see I'm using a new monitor, and I changed the uh, screen resolution. So, hopefully, yeah, that gets rid of the black bars for YouTube. Here's my opponent's army. Um, some of his troops are hidden, though. But here's his general unit. It's a gold, gold Praetorian Cav. And that's the only unit he upgrades. The rest he'll be going more for, for the quantity. But then he has some units over here. He's a peasant unit. Two, uh, well, what, what was this? Actually, an archer auxilia unit, two urbans, and then in the forest over here, he has an auxilia unit, which is uh, a spear unit, and um, two Roman archers. So already my opponent sees my one visible unit, and he's going to go right for my companion. That's where my general is. Good idea, because his his Praetorian alone could easily take out my companions due to their sheer quality size. This is what I take out my units here. I'm going to try to isolate his, uh, his cab units, make sure they don't get away. I'm going to try to shower them with my archers. Fortunately, those blinged out Praetorians are pretty well armored, and I only managed to drop one, actually three, horses in those few volleys. So I'm going to try to lead those Praetorians into the forest where my guys are waiting, but he sees the trap, and he's going to bug out of there. But as he turns around, that's when they become more vulnerable to my archers, these Praetorians. And I start targeting these Cav Auxilia just because I know they're they're a lot more, or they're a lot less armored than the Praetorians. But I only manage to drop four of them before he gets away. Sorry, three of them before he gets away. And uh, during this little uh, skirmish, my opponent managed to. Uh, move all of his troops into this little forested area. So he, so he started off with a hill advantage and he's going to maintain it for now. And this guy puts his uh, Praetorians into uh, loose formation in order to minimize the damage from my archers. So he's going to scoot back up there. And meanwhile, his uh, Cav Auxilia are still here. See that? And I've got my archers focusing fire on him. And, um, unfortunately for him, he didn't, well, he must have underestimated the range of my Cretans. Because I, I got off some nice shots on his, uh, Cav Auxilia before he uh, fled. But there they go. So my opponent's going to, uh, gather up on top of this hill. He's gonna move right here towards the, uh, the border here to maintain his hill advantage. And, uh... Yeah, he still has his uh, Roman archers and his auxilia hidden. Like, they're right around here somewhere. But he wants to maintain that element of surprise. Good idea. Like, if you want to keep units, hit, like, secret, then you want to keep them hidden for as long as possible. Until you absolutely need them. And when they come out, make sure their appearance is dramatic and um, game-changing. So, in terms of the skirmish, I'm, I'm winning that phase right now. Because I've bled his Praetorians and his Cav Auxilia. And I've only lost, what, I think two horses? Yeah, just two horses so far. When it came to skirmishing in the later Hellenistic battles, this is like way past Alexander's time, um, the Hellenistic kingdoms usually like outfought the, uh, the Romans in terms of skirmish battles. Because they always maintain a very high quality 
cater of um, skirmish troops and very, very confident cav. Alright, so I'm going to come up here. He sees me marching this way, and he's going to march over this way to cut me off. And uh, I like the colors on this uh, screen resolution. There's a bit of lag though, just because I'm running this at a much higher screen resolution. But it's not too bad in terms of lag. So, that's the situation. And you can see my opponent still has his uh, auxilia and Roman archers hidden. He's going try to try to shock me later on. So these urbans, although they're not upgraded, they do have the Pila and Hilltop advantage. Alright. So he's got his auxilia in the front and peasants too. But I was able to open fire quicker than him, because he was still setting up his troops. Right, here comes his Roman archers. <clears throat> he sees that it's 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 time now to take out his guys. Now that we're actually skirmishing like toe to toe now, so I take my my uh, companions and my phalanx and my royal pikes, and I want to kill some of these guys. I'm not sure which one to go for because he's, he brought his Praetorians out here who can easily ward off my companions. And I see this auxilia there, so I, I bring out my companion sorry, my roll pikes and phalanx. Because uh, my companions alone couldn't take on those auxilia and Praetorian Cav. So I, I bring out the uh, my big heavy infantry. And I got these guys in phalanx formation here, see this? And this is when his Praetorians come out, and I don't want to fight those guys right now. Although I do, I guess I do go for front for the fight. I have, I have the slight hill advantage there, and I've got some nearby pikes who can lend support. And if you look at the back, you can see his, his cab auxiliaries coming out. They're going to go for my archers in the back. Yeah, this battle's pretty old. That's why I kind of forgot the details of it. And look at this, his uh, Praetorians bug out. Enemy general flees. Press forward so that this and we kill his general. Score. All the meanwhile, he's using his Cav Auxilia to take out my archers. And I'm going to have my guys stand their ground. Try to beat them. Mano e mano. Look at my Cretans holding their ground. Queens are pretty badass here. So he is uh, routing my archers, but my Cretans stand their ground and they route the Cav Auxilia. But uh, meanwhile, I wreaked havoc over here. Like I, I routed his uh, Roman archers, and uh, his Praetorian Cav came back from routing, but I don't think he he noticed that. So I route them again. Unfortunate for him, but he lost his his uh, Cav. His cab, sorry, his Praetorian cab. These cab auxilia, they'll come back from routing. You'll see. So, uh, meanwhile, he brought down his uh, auxilia and he routed my. No, he, no, he, no, he didn't. But he's gonna move his auxilia down, and he's gonna chase my archers. So it's a general brawl everywhere right now. Like there's things happening, you know, on simultaneous fronts here. Here's his Cav Auxilia, as I said, they stopped routing, so he's gonna keep them. And, um, here... He manages to cut off my... My Royal Pikes from getting up here. So he has the, the Hill Advantage still. With his Urbans. And he's, um... He's managing to uh, discharge his Pila at my, my Felix Pikeman. And I'm... And I lost a lot of Pikes here. See that? Look at that. What, two volleys? Brings my guys down to 82 men. And my guys are very tired. And his urbans are fresh, somehow. I thought they were doing just as much running as I was, but apparently not. So I see his Cav Auxilia here. I'm going to try to charge and take them out. But he, he moves them away. So instead of going for them, I'm going to go for these Roman archers. But then his Auxilia scares me away. But as long as I'm keeping them away from this fight here, that's fine. So he's going to go for my, my cab unit, and I can try to get out of there, because he has his auxilia there. 
and is urban, so I'm gonna try to just, just get out. And now as Cav Auxilla is gonna go for my archers, I'm gonna try to protect my archers, but my archers stand their ground and they manage to uh, beat back those Cav Auxilla again. Good job guys, you have you have done well. Done quite well there. Alright, here, look, my real pikes got glitched here, see this? So they are facing the wrong way. And uh, these guys are exhausted, which means they can break just by, by looking at them when they're exhausted. And um, meanwhile, his urbans abandoned these urbans, so now these guys are going to get cut off here. Unfortunately, my pikemen are still glitched here, so they can't turn around and just stab them to death. And I can try to bring my companions up here and try to uh, take out these urbans once and for all. And my real pikes managed to do that for me, for my companions. So that was pretty much decisive there. He still has an urban unit left, Auxilia, Roman Archer, and his Cav Auxilia. <clears throat> but at this point, I have, a, I have a definitive edge at this point. Although my pikes and royal pikes are still exhausted, see this? I shouldn't even be running them right now. Because when they're exhausted, they're, they can break easily. And here I'm just going to try to chase his Cav Auxilia. Try to just rid them from the battlefield. And look, they route again. Like, I've routed them so many times now. I don't know how they keep coming back for more. But I think this is the last you'll see of these guys. They get to run for that border. All the way back to... Rome. So now this guy's is down to his urbans and auxilia and Roman archers. I mean, he could theoretically win if he played his cards right. Like, if he managed to surround my my phalanx because they are exhausted. But I'm gonna keep my, my companions nearby to protect my, my pike units. But really, I have the definitive edge at this at this point. So yeah, I have to be very careful with these guys. Don't want to lose them carelessly. I don't know why I was running them like this. Like if they're exhausted, that's a bad idea. Anyhow, what's it done is done. I'm maneuvering my Cretans around here. We're gonna do some, some flank shots on those guys. And now they're out of out of archer, out of missiles, so now they had their daggers only. So I'm gonna use them in a melee capacity. But yeah, they discharge all their missiles. These Roman archers still have some uh, some fight in them left with their with their missiles. But I'm gonna come down and try to fight these urbans. At least I pin them in place so they stop moving. Where's his auxilia? Did I kill them? Oh no, they're, they're right here. They're, here they are. He's gonna keep his auxiliary like, moving to, to, keep, to ward off my companions. And if you look in the back, you can see my Cretans maneuvering here. See, they're out of missiles. The Roman archers are shooting at my guys. So I'm just gonna charge into the Roman archers with my Cretans. Yeah, yeah, these Cretans are freaking badass. Look at that. Well, one of them just like did a somersault, but aside from that, these guys are badass. Watch this. Jeez. And you can see my companions in the back. We're gonna strike those. Uh, uh, no, no, they're still maneuvering. We can watch this fight still. Good fight. Archers versus archers. And uh, my companions gonna move it around. They're gonna maneuver around, but the auxilia scares them away. I want to kill those urbans, but yeah, those queens took out those Roman archers. The auxilia protected the urbans by scaring away my companions. And um, these guys are still glitched. These phalanx pikemen, like they are not going where I'm, where I'm telling them to go. I remember I was trying to get, tell them to go this way. So my companions try to take out those urbans, but the auxilia saves them once again. 
And yeah, these uh, these these pikes are like I don't know what they're doing. All right, now they're man maneuvering around to surround these guys, even though they're exhausted. And look, look at that glitch. See, they're facing the wrong way again. See that? Kind of annoying. But yeah, this is this is it. I finally managed to get them all in place. My Cretans held his auxilia in place finally, see that? So my Cretans actually played a really good role in this battle. Like, a very significant role. And these urbans break. And, um... Yeah, I'm going to show you the battle results. And also show you the uh, the detailed battle results so you can see just how... how effective my Cretans were in this particular battle. Yeah, I don't know how my pikes consistently got glitched in this game. This is a glorious achievement. Your victory is total. But uh, would be a better word. Yeah, battle's over. My campaigns are happy. So are my Cretans. Um, yeah, these are the kills. But let me show you the specific kills here. Look at my Cretans. They they kill the most in this battle, and they've even gained experience from it too. Um. And uh, my real pikes killed a lot too, but yeah, my Koreans, they definitely wreak the most havoc. But yeah, good game to my opponent Flavius the Great. I hope you guys enjoyed this very low money battle. A lot of, um, like, skirmishing, and a lot of uh, maneuvering, and whatnot. And um, I enjoyed it, and hope you guys did too.